So the Panorama DMM-7-27 mobile antenna. So back in July 2017, I did a video on my horrendous experience with the Urant mobile antenna. I took a lot of stick, which I didn't deserve. Some people didn't really understand it, but it had, the, the long and short of it was a Urant mobile antenna, which was not advertised as directional, but had directionality. It can be used in many directions, but it had an optimum direction. Point being, it was a mobile antenna. I wanted to use it as a no-brainer, on-the-move mobile antenna. I wasn't going to spend hours setting up and finding the nearest mobile mast to point it at. So it was a big fail. It did not boost my mobile Wi-Fi in any way, in any situation, when I was actually on the move. Fast forward to 2019, I'm having another go. I've got myself something that's definitely specified as an omnidirectional antennae. So this is a mobile antennae. It supports 2G, 3G, 4G, LTE. It's a dual antenna. It supports 2x2 MIMO, multiple input, multiple output. As you can see, it's two antennas in a cross position. And it's only directional. This, I figured, is going to be a good option for trying to increase my mobile Wi-Fi strength on the go. It's 25 quid on Amazon UK. Seems like some decent reviews. It was a no-brainer, I guess, for me to give it another go. But out of the video, did get a lot of interest. There's clearly a lot of interest in mobile antennas. Improving your Wi-Fi, your mobile Wi-Fi, on the go. Just to say, comes in that box. It comes with those instructions. The instructions are pretty sparse, but of course, there's not a lot to know other than you plug it in. So, it comes in three versions. This is the TS9 version. TS9 connector, obviously. Other connectors available, CRC9 SMA. In the TS9 version, which I have, you also get a pair of TS9 to SMA converters. So that's handy. Apparently, if you just get the SMA version, you don't get any adapters. But having got the TS9 version, I can use it with the SMA without paying anything extra, they've given me some adapters in the box. As you can see, it handily has its own built-in feet and you can stand it up on the desk. The cable goes through the middle. By the way, you get a decent length of cable, two meters of cable. You also get a sucker to stick it on a window, for example. And I have tried it, it works very well as a sucker. Some of them <laughs> don't stick at all. You also get what they call our laptop connectors, but you, it'll connect to anything that's obviously a flat surface. So they, they just clip onto the ends, and what there is is a little spring mechanism that you can slide it onto something. So it could slide onto the cover of your laptop, or your lid of your laptop. But I'm using the feet. I'm just gonna leave it like that on the desk. It is wideband. It does cover all three of the UK mobile frequencies, which are 800 millihertz, 1800 millihertz, 2600 millihertz. So obviously you need to make sure that whatever SIM you're using, whatever frequency you're using, your provider, that your antenna, when you get an antenna, covers those frequencies. This covers all frequencies used in the UK. So I'm going to do a quick test. I'm going to, I've got an EE SIM in my mobile Wi Fi. I've got an EE SIM in my phone. I'm going to do a quick speed test on both of those SIMs and then I'm going to use the dual antennae connected to my Huawei mobile Wi Fi, Wi Fi as they call it, and see what the difference is. So the SIM in the phone. So, four megabits basically on the download. I'm now going to try it You're actually using my MiFi. I should mention this is actually not a great spot for signals. I don't get a great signal from this area. So, I think this is a fair test. And that four megabits per second basically tells you the, the, the signal strength is not great here. 
So now I'm going to test the MiFi. So using the MiFi, 24 megabits per second. Now I'm going to connect the antenna. Switch this off first. I will say that when it came, the, ant the actual connections themselves were a little bit loose. I've had to tighten them with some pliers. That, uh, <laughs> that test actually at 24 megabits is actually a lot quicker than I've been getting on this MiFi. So let's see if we still improve from that. It's normally a weak signal. It's not so weak tonight, but I have been, t I have been testing it all day and I'll see what the result is and I'll tell you what I've been getting all day. So now with the antenna. So it's not as dramatic as I've been getting. I don't know why suddenly I'm getting really good signal. I have to tell you. So look, first of all, they're basically 31 megabits per second download compared to the 24 megabits I was getting with just the MiFi. It's clearly improved it. Upload, well, it's slightly down, but basically they're both two megabits per second. But during the day, I have to tell you, I mean, I've been getting like maybe 10, 12 megabits per second just using my MiFi and consistently 30, 35, 36 upwards using the antenna. So in every case, and even now where the difference is not that dramatic, obviously, I've suddenly got a good signal for some reason. The antenna has always pulled in a stronger signal than using the MiFi on its own. To me, that's refreshing because my previous experience with uh, trying to use a mobile antenna was that it was worse actually using the antenna than having no antenna, you know, separate antenna at all. Been using this all day, been really happy with it. That wasn't very dramatic, but even on that test, it was better. And in fact, I'm going to repeat this test once more just to see, just first of all show you that that is consistent and see if, I, if there's going to be any extra that it's going to pull out over the MiFi on its own. So one more time, I'm going to take the connectors off, reboot this and test it again. So the MiFi again, retest. So a little bit down from where it was, basically 23 megabits per second. Let's turn it off. Turn it back on again. So now with the Panorama dual antennae, Right, well I can see it now this time it's dramatic. Now this is more in line with what I've been getting all day long. So 40 megabits per second there. Nearly double what I've just got on the My5. 22 versus 40, even when there wasn't much in it. It was like 24 and 30. But this 2240 is in line with what I've been getting all day long. And then worse areas for connection where it's down to say 10, 12 megabits. I'm still getting mid thirties with the Panorama dual antennae. So I am pretty happy. I've not, you know, gone on the road with it like I did with my Urant. So I knew for sure it was pretty useless, but it's looking good. So I thought I'd do the video, given that, you know, it was a bit disappointing. My other experience at this point supports two by two Mimo for on the go mobile Wi-Fi. It's looking good for 25 quid, I've got to say. So I hope you got something out of that and thank you for watching. UK.